All right, guys, so when it comes to creative work such as Final Cut Pro, Photoshop, uh, Lightroom, audio work, storage is a big thing. You need storage. And let's say as you're working, the storage just runs out. That is a big problem. You have to go back, delete something, get some space, and it's just a big hassle. The Mac Studio comes with standard 512 gigabytes. That's the base model. And for some people, that is enough, but for some, that is not enough. For example, for me, that is not enough. And forcefully, I, I had to go with it because the store that I went to did not have what I exactly wanted, which was the one terabyte. I'm stuck right now. For some others, their budget did not allow it. So today, I'm gonna give you guys some options on how you can increase that. And what I wanna say, guys, is if you can get the one terabyte, I highly recommend you get the one terabyte. It is worth it. Apple's one is extremely fast, but if your budget does not allow it, I'll give you a second option, which is almost as fast, but still you should get the Apple one because it is faster. But once again, I'm going to show you an alternative to that, which you could get for half the price. Half the price is $120. You can walk out with a storage that is one terabyte. So let's say 500 gigabytes plus one terabyte, you get 1500 gigabytes of storage. So guys, what you need is an NVMe enclosure. You can get on Amazon, which is right here. It is $28 plus tax and shipping. About $30, you get an NVMe storage enclosure. After that, what you'll need is a NVMe SSD. This is the one I have right now, actually. And this is amazing, guys. Honest to God, this is amazing. This is $90 and you have a one terabyte storage. So this is called a Cerberin Rocket Q one terabyte NVMe PCIe M.2 2280 storage. You could work off this with uh, Final Cut Pro, Photoshop, uh, GarageBand, whatever you use, you could do it. It is very good. And this is what I'm currently using right now as well, cause it's amazing and it works. And you guys, here I have it right here. This is the NVMe enclosure. This is the box that it comes in. $30, you get this. The build is amazing. You have it right here. It's really good, honestly. You have this and then you also get their cable as well as the USB-C. Very fast, it's really good, high quality. You don't have to buy a separate one from Amazon once again, it comes with it. So here you have it right here. And this is the 2280 SSD NVMe. You can get the alternate from Amazon of some other company, but I recommend this one because they're really good. I've been using their stuff and it's amazing, but they're alternative cheaper ones, but this one I feel like it will be really good for you for long term and it's honestly really good. So. Here you have it. I'll leave the links in the description for both of these right here. 120 bucks, you get these both and it's amazing. So I'm gonna open it up right now. There we go, you get this out. And right after that, I'll set this one down. There is a little button right there. You press it and it will open up all the way right here. And they already give you like a heat pad right here so it doesn't overheat in there, which is really nice of them or else you would have to put in one yourself but they give you one, it's amazing of them. So thank you for that. And what you do is you line it up to the gap right there, the little gap here, you line it up with the gap on the enclosure as well. You can see right here, right there. And what you do is basically you place it in there, you line it up and after that you push it in basically, you push it in. It's gonna feel a little bit tight, but push it in. You lay it down and then there should be a lash right there. You just, move it a little bit so it holds on to the ssd close it make sure there's a click it closes and then what you do is plug in the usb c so this right here is my mac studio i usually plug it in from the back so what i did is put in a piece of velcro on this one and on my desk as well i plugged it in right here and after that i'm gonna plug it in right here and that is it simple as that Anyways, you guys, that is about it. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I was helpful to you guys. If not, I apologize. And this channel, guys, I made it because I genuinely enjoy tech and stuff like this. And it just makes me happy. It's not about the money. I don't care, to, to be honest about that. I have other things that I do. But this one um, just makes me happy, man. I hope I was able to help. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give you a thumbs up if you guys did enjoy it. And I'll catch you guys there. Thank you for watching. And have a blessed day, everyone.